Oh fam, so freaking stoked right now, you guys have no idea. So for those of you who watched yesterday's video, you know that I was having a major problem with the first gen, the blue first gen, the rolling turd is what I'm calling it right now. It was not starting, no crank, no electrical, nothing. It ended up being a couple of things. First off, there was a small wire going between the firewall and the ignition. No, it was going between the battery and the firewall and it was right up against the firewall that was disconnected. And I was like, hmm, well, I'm gonna reconnect these because it's not connected currently. So I reconnected it, got it all wired up, taped it up, you know, just to make, just to check, just to check and see if that was a problem, which we're gonna have to fix a lot of the wiring on this truck because it's just, it is totally hillbilly rigged. No offense if you're a hillbilly. It's all wire disconnected, so I reconnected it. And then not only that is I was one in there and I'm like, it's still not working. So then I trace the wire back to where it goes. And let me show you. So I traced the wire that was disconnected all the way back under here. And it turns out it was this wire and it went to this switch. I was like, well, what the heck does that have to do with anything? Well, the switch, I don't know if I bumped it with my leg or something, but watch this. It's a kill switch. All the power that was going to that red wire that had fallen apart also went to that switch. So I don't know if the switch had to be like reset or what the heck. And so I flipped the switch back on and watch. Fire's up. Perfect. So we got the issue fixed. <laughs> Not totally fixed, but we're going to have to fix a lot of this wiring. But let's get this thing pulled into the shop and let me go all the way through all the plants for this set. Weren't necessarily in the plants before, but they are now. By the way, if you want to enter to win this truck, every $5 is 10 entries to win this truck starting tonight at midnight. the next day we are not working on the blue truck unfortunately but big surprise you guys are gonna like this we got the white first gen back from paint I don't know how many of you guys remember several videos back we dropped my dad's first gen off for paint it is back it is done I picked it up last night so I did see it but it was kind of dark out it was about 8 o'clock at night so I couldn't see it great so we're gonna go over to their place right now and we're gonna show you this truck in the daylight and fully reveal too we'll get down to the nitty-gritty once we pick up the truck and show you around and go over what was wrong what got Gotta fix all that stuff and also really quick we got to drive by and clean this fourth gen because it's coated in mud and dirt and it has not been thoroughly washed in probably a month which is not good so we're gonna go and wash this thing down and get over there to the first gen check this out mm. No more mud. Look at this. Much better. Now let's go show you that new paint job on the first gen. Here's the fourth gen all cleaned up. I even tried to clean the wheels up and the tires a little bit. You know, I know, I don't have the wheel caps on. They are in the truck though, but I did not put them on yet. I got all the mud off. It was just nasty, stinking leaf up in there. I mean, it was gross. That, it was just sick, but it's uh, sick in not the best way. But it's all cleaned up, scrub the bumper, the grill, everything. Here is the first gen. So here is the first gen back from paint. And uh, I like it. It looks good. You can definitely see how different it looks compared to like some of the you know hood fading and stuff like that just like the small stuff like he even took the caps off of the cab lights up there he actually painted them silver again they were kind of like this faded silverish grayish but he took them off he painted them silver with the paint gun and then uh, put them back on there they actually look really good he did the new weather stripping new weather stripping on the outside new weather stripping for the windows on the inside no more holes in the rockers rockers had holes in them this whole lower portion had to be replaced there's a big old freaking rust hole right here and the front fenders didn't really have much rust on them a couple of bubbles but they really weren't bad um, but what he actually ended up doing was he fixed everything and he had the truck done and then he asked my dad if he wanted to put these fenders on or not 
these like uh, little fender guards, fender flares, I guess you could call them or whatever. My dad was like, well, let me see what they look like with a black one. Let me see what they look like with a white one. And with the black ones, they looked okay, but they looked really out of place because the rest of the truck didn't have any moldings. And if you guys recall, there were some holes right here in the body and right here, I think there's one or two, just a couple of holes from holding moldings on. He completely sealed all that stuff up and painted it and all that stuff. Same with the tailgate. There was a bunch of holes, but instead of, you know, filling them in like we were originally going to do, though, he actually took this badge, made it like new. He left this all original. He just cleaned this up. He left the original Dodge paint on there. And then what he did here was he took the color code off of the badge. And since the badge is all faded plastic and just shot, he basically took that color code and he kind of blended it to be almost just like the taillight color code to where it actually like fit the back of the truck really nicely and blended in good, which is nice. I mean, it looks, it looks really, really good. So that's all done. Man, it just looks, it just turned out really, really good. It really did. Now there is one thing my dad said he might do and that's put his Dodge grill back on because this is an aftermarket because his had a little hairline crack, had a couple other little small flaws, some little dumb stuff, but we didn't realize how valuable the grills were, so we actually got another one that's not cracked that we bought off a guy. So he might actually put it on this truck and just keep his cracked one. Um, it's not even a big crack, it's just like a little hairline crack on his other grill. But he might actually put the other Dodge grill that we have that's in perfect shape on here. But uh, here's the other side. As you can see, again, there was just some minor rust down low, a couple little spots on the rockers. He just uh, fixed all that stuff, painted the truck, painted the flares, then put the flares on after. I mean, it, it just turned out really nice. It really did turn out nice. Very shiny, very, very shiny. I don't know about you guys, but I think, uh, I think I'm excited to get my blue first gen done. I'm just kind of taking this one slow, letting you guys get a good long look at it. I don't know if it's unlocked. It might be unlocked. It might be. Okay, yeah, it's unlocked. Here's the uh, inner window liners. And the only problem with these, for some reason, they don't really want to stay in their track. There's new window liners on that side. Weather stripping, I mean, new weather stripping on this side. The door actually did have a little bit of a drop to it as well, which if you listen really closely, you're not going to hear a little drop sound. Buttons going in, doors coming open, just straight out, straight back in. No drop, no sag in the door. Check out the roof. Yeah, pretty sweet. So, rate this truck on a scale one to 10. How do you guys think it turned out? Make sure you remember what it looked like beforehand too. I mean, it wasn't the prettiest thing. Like it was always pretty just cause it's the first gen, but I mean, it was pretty rough. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys liked the way that this truck turned out. We're super excited about it to finally have it done. Cause who remembers when we picked this thing up? Because this was the first video we ever uploaded to this channel. And I think that was over like 650 videos ago. This was the first truck and first video we ever filmed was my dad picking this truck up because we had gotten some ATVs stolen. So we got an insurance check back and he's like, you know, we really don't use the ATVs enough. And this was years ago now. That we don't really don't use the ETVs enough to justify buying more ETVs. So he's like, how about I buy a freaking first gen? He's like, I've always thought they were super cool. So he bought a first gen. That was the first video I ever filmed. And from that day, we have filmed videos basically every other day since then. And hopefully you guys appreciate this one. This is a pretty big one for us since this was such a huge part of the channel in the beginning stages. And just kind of randomly throughout, this truck has always been here. This is one that's never left. It's never really gone out of the picture. It's always been here. And for that aspect alone, it's just super cool to finally see it in all of its glory, all restored in perfect shape again. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Do not forget, if you want to win the 1989 W350 Limited Edition with 55,000 original miles on it. It's a five-speed manual, 12 valve, four-wheel drive. Every $5 is 10 entries to win until April 8th. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.